We've all heard about the new Duchess of Sussex and her handsome hubby. However, joining the royal family calls for this bride to give up a lot of things you probably didn't know about. From being hush-hush about everything political to eating at a particular pace. Here are 14 things Meghan Markle can't do now that she's married to Prince Harry. Number 14. No voting. Meghan Markle is known for her acting career, of course, but she is also recognized for her political views. She has notably backed up Hillary Clinton's campaign and stated that she disagreed with Donald Trump's vision of the United States. Well, so much for being outspoken. Now that she and Prince Harry are married, Markle can no longer give her opinions on political matters. She was working for UN Women, as well as the organization World Vision International. She was an advocate for the former, with her feminist background reaching back to her childhood and a representative for the clean water campaign for the lather. Markle has traveled all over the world speaking her mind and aiding charities. However, now that she is Duchess of Sussex, she will no longer be able to participate in anything considered political. The Queen is not allowed to vote in elections and must remain impartial when it comes to public announcements of government-affiliated opinions. So it stands to reason that Meghan Markle will have to do the same. She must keep her feelings about some issues to herself to uphold the royal family's unscathed reputation and avoid as much controversy as possible. Number 13. Bed before the Queen. This might seem a little ridiculous to most folks out there, but for the royal family there's nothing strange about this tradition. Nobody sleeps until the Queen decides it's time to get some shut-eye. So depending on how Her Majesty is feeling at night, Meghan Markle might not get to bed until well after her standard time. Unfortunately, this rule applies to just about everything in the royal household. When they sit down for supper, nobody can begin enjoying their meal before the queen decides it's time. Once she starts eating, then everybody else can. The same tradition goes for finishing a meal. Megan has to begin eating quickly because as soon as Elizabeth II sets down her utensils, everyone else had better follow suit. Then again, the royal family can't be seen scarfing down food too quickly, so she's probably got some time. Although it's noted that certain royals, like Princess Diana, have broken this tradition before. Number 12. Not acting. This is perhaps the most prominent aspect of her life that Meghan Markle will have to give up now that she and Prince Harry have tied the knot. Before their recent marriage, Markle was known for her acting career. She played in numerous movies and television series throughout her life, including Suits, Horrible Bosses, and Remember Me. However, her sultry roles on screen would negatively affect the royal family's reputation if she continued on her path through Hollywood. Since her union with Prince Harry has stirred up so much controversy already, it's best for her to keep her future disputes to a minimum. So unfortunately for Markle, she had to quit cold turkey on the acting front. However, she stated during her and Prince Harry's interview with BBC News that she doesn't consider it to be giving anything up, and instead sees it as merely a change. Plus, she noted that she was working on the set of suits for seven years, felt accomplished and proud of what she's done, and she's ready to move on to a new chapter in her life. Number 11. No more selfies. It seems that many of the traditions followed by the royal family are set in place because they want to maintain their nearly unblemished reputations. This one could potentially affect how the public views them, but it's more of a personal preference than a hardcore regulation. If you're a true Instagram fanatic, you'll feel personally threatened by this rule. That's right, Meghan Markle can no longer take selfies. It's pretty upsetting with iPhone's X face-fronting camera capabilities. Nevertheless, the new Duchess of Sussex doesn't seem upset by the notion of a selfie-less life. Although she can't post solo photographs either, it's more important that she avoids taking pictures with fans. They disapprove of selfie taking because they would rather see their admirer's face straight on. Also, isn't recommended to turn your back on a royal family member. Number 10. Many of us don't know how we'd live without our consistent news feed scrolling on Facebook, newfound Instagram photography skills, endless snap stories, or never-ending tweets. However, Meghan Markle had to shut down all of her social media accounts. Although most of us are still in the tens or hundreds when it comes to Instagram followers, Markle had nearly two million fans when she had to press the button for permanent deletion. However, her marriage to Prince Harry was well worth it. Plus, to be honest, most of us spend too much time staring at our phones anyway. One thing that was probably more difficult for her to shut down for the unforeseenable future was her blog, The Tig. She used it as a platform to write segments about numerous subjects, including travel, beauty, and other celebs. If you try to view the site now, then you'll see the heartwarming farewell letter she left for fans of the blog. Number 9. Can't show legs. Now that she and Prince Harry have tied the knot, Markle has to make sure that her clothing choices are well suited for life as a royal. Most of us are used to wearing shorts, mini skirts, or strappy dresses on a daily basis during the summer. However, Prince Harry's wife is no longer allowed to show much skin. Most of her gowns will drop below the knee from now on, plus she can't even reveal the bottom part of her shins without a little cover-up. For all public events, Markle will be seen sporting pantyhose or tights from now on. 
It's essential for women of the royal family to be conservative and conscious of their appeal at all times to prevent any possible slip-ups and wardrobe malfunctions. Seems like you have to be able to handle the heat to marry into royalty. Number eight, no autographs. Although she's probably used to signing her name on photographs for fans by marrying a prince, Markle doomed herself to life without autographs. Well, maybe not doomed, per se, but she certainly isn't allowed to use penmanship skills to give her John Hancock any longer. Since the royal family's goal is to protect themselves and their reputations by doing anything they can to prevent unfavorable events, it's no surprise that they aren't allowed to sign things for fans. By avoiding autographing an, any old scrap of paper, they are keeping people from falsifying their signatures. They are only permitted to endorse official documents. Number seven, board games. Hopefully Meghan Markle prefers the game of life over Monopoly because now that she's married to Prince Harry, she'll no longer be able to play the lather. Unfortunately, royal family members have to abstain from the competitive board game. This might seem like a weird rule, but if you think about it, it makes sense. Has there ever been a round of Monopoly that ended without arguments and threats coming from all sides? Well, unless you're not the ambitious type regarding board games, then the answer is no. And just like the rest of us, royal family members go up in arms when they have to mortgage their pretend properties to pay rent during the midst of an intense game. So to keep things running smoothly in real life, they play more relaxed games like Scrabble. Number six, no PDAs with Harry. This duo is still in the honeymoon phase of their relationship, but unfortunately, they have to refrain from showing that to the public. Meghan Markle has to keep displays of affection to a minimum with her brand new hubby, Prince Harry. It's frowned upon for royals to have excessive PDAs considering their notoriety and ongoing place in the spotlight. This coincides with their close attention to their wardrobe choices, lack of social media accounts, and secret political opinions. They must uphold their current standing in the public eye. This is difficult, especially for newlyweds, but constant smooching out in the open wouldn't be a good look for the prince or duchess. Number five, her pups. Many people wouldn't be willing to do this for anyone they met, even a prince. However, Meghan Markle made an exception for her true love, Prince Harry. She had two dogs named Bogart and Guy. As an advocate for pet adoption, she rescued the two pups from a shelter. Bogart was her first pet and is a Labrador and a shepherd mix, and Guy is a beagle. When she decided to move to the United Kingdom to shack up with Prince Harry, she could only take one of her dogs. Sadly, she had to leave her longtime friend Bogart behind. Although she was convinced to adopt him by Ellen DeGeneres and bonded with him throughout the years, she simply didn't have the option to bring him along on her new journey. It proves challenging to move dogs to another country and considering Bogart's age, it would have been even harder. He wouldn't have done well on the plane trip over because dogs have to ride in the cargo area. Although the Queen loves furry friends as well, she never got the chance to meet Bogart. Some people stated that it could also be because he isn't purebred. Number four, different style. Although Markle has always been stylish, her beauty and fashion ideals will have to change now that she's married to Prince Harry. If she wasn't a fan of hats, for instance, she needs to get over her dislike quickly because these head coverings are required for formal outings with the queen. It wasn't until the 1950s that women could make public appearances without a hat. Showing one's hairstyle just wasn't deemed appropriate for ladies of that time. Nowadays, a hat isn't required, but for proper occasions, they're still considered an essential part of an outfit. However, this isn't the only thing that will change for Meghan. Since she and Prince Harry are married now, she's permitted to wear a tiara. And what girl doesn't like that? These bejeweled, dainty crowns are worn during the evening when women change into their late night formal wear. Another thing Markle can't do is wear bright nail polish. She has to stick with nude shades, as other colors could be considered tacky. She also should avoid wearing wedge heels. The queen dislikes the summertime shoe style. And whatever she says is taken into consideration among the royal family. Number three, Christmas. Hopefully Meghan isn't used to participating all of her holiday traditions on Christmas day because the royal family begins their celebrations the day before. Plus their rituals are well planned out. On Christmas Eve, they all accompany the queen in Sandringham Estate, her private home. At precisely four o'clock in the afternoon, they enjoy snacks and tea. Then they move to another room where their presents have been arranged on tables to exchange gifts. They try to opt for humorous presents instead of serious expensive ones, probably to keep the gathering lighthearted and more enjoyable. Later in the afternoon, they participate in soccer games. At about 8.30 in the evening, they meet for a seasonal meal consisting of a protein and root vegetables. On Christmas Day, their schedule becomes even more hectic. Their first stop is St. Mary Magdalene Church, where they enjoy the holiday services. Next, they go back to the Queen's Place for dinner, which consists of turkey, seafood, and various side dishes, and is served at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Afterward, the whole family groups together to watch Her Majesty's Christmas speech. Number two, can't travel alone. 
Another thing Meghan Markle will have to give up now that she and Prince Harry are married is traveling by her lonesome. This might not seem like a big deal, but when it comes to royal family vacations, they can't just book a last-minute flight to Hawaii for a little rest and relaxation. First of all, planning a trip can take forever. They start preparing months before they actually go somewhere. Second, the security measures are serious business. It shouldn't surprise anyone that bodyguards need to be around at all times when the royal family members are out in public. Lastly, they always carry around their own alcoholic beverages when on vacation. You won't see Meghan or Prince Harry taking drinks or food from strangers, just in case they've been tampered with. So travel is a bit more stress-inducing, as is grabbing a cocktail at the bar. Number one, can't keep to herself. Perhaps the most substantial change in Meghan Markle's life is the lack of privacy that comes with being married to Prince Harry. She had been in the spotlight before, but not nearly as often as she has been since she and her now husband made their relationship public knowledge. She even stated in her interview with BBC News that although she was a Hollywood actress, she had never experienced the limelight as she had after becoming official with Prince Harry. Markle said that she led a reasonably quiet life before their relationship and had never been featured in tabloids. She also noted that during their initial coming out, she avoided reading all things written about her, whether they were good or bad. It's unfortunate, but Meghan can no longer keep to herself because anything the royal family does makes it into the news. But so far, she seems to be doing a great job at taking negative comments with a grain of salt. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.